What's up guys, JR Raymond back again coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes. Where today I want to talk to you about that one thing again about getting your hand to the inside and what it needs to feel like. I want to show you a trick and show you what we can do to make you feel your hand more to the inside and being able to play up the back of the ball just a little bit more. Uh, we're going to do that, but first I want to show you, like you see how this thing's moving with me? How cool is this? I got myself a new little handheld gimbal. I had one of the bigger ones, now I got the small one and this one's got a extendable neck to where I'm going to be taking this like to the masters and to other events to where and I'll also be using them in the reviews so while I'm out on the lanes I'm actually going to have this set up to where this will track me and you'll be able to see me the entire time when I'm talking I know some people are going to be like no I don't want to see you but other people are like yeah you're so beautiful I'm just kidding but uh, a lot of people said they liked when I had separate cameras set up and they could see me talking and explaining things a little bit so we're going to do it like that so it's going to be pretty neat but we're going to talk today about how to get your hand more to the inside and so what I want to focus on, let me see if I can back up here so you can see me and what I'm doing. What I want to focus on is as you are getting to the line, what I want you to think about is where your hand is. A lot of people have the, the, they have the problem of getting their hand outside too quick. So when they get to this point, their hand goes outside and rotates to the outside here. So if I'm in a good finished position, my hand goes to the outside and my hand, my palm is towards my leg. What I wanna think about is I want my fingers to be towards my leg. I want the outside of my knuckles to be brushing my pant leg. So at all times, you should be thinking about keeping your hand to the inside with your fingers brushing your pant leg. So if you're wearing pants or whatever, or brushing your leg or whatever it needs to be, A, you'll be have it under and inside of your head. And so you can then rotate through this way outside the ball from inside to outside. You'll be able to do that. But B, it's also going to keep you to where you're up the back. And you can go from here and just roll through the back side of the ball and get your hand in the proper position. The other thing to think about is going to be the elbow. The elbow getting outside makes it impossible. If your elbow's outside, I can't get my fingers any closer than this. This is like my elbow is facing that way right now. That's as far as I can get my fingers inside. But as soon as I rotate my elbow to face my belt buckle, now my fingers can be inside the whole way. So it's almost like you're just thinking of the slot, just keeping the your arm in a slot. If the hand's to the outside, sure, you can keep it in the slot, but it's going to be to the outside. But it, you want to kind of tuck the elbow inside towards your belt buckle. Swing, elbow always facing the belt buckle. So if I'm like this, you can see this is still facing my belt buckle. All the way through the swing, I'm coming back through and I'm tucking in and my hands brush the pant leg, fingers are inside. So I hope this helps. I just want to do a quick video. I had somebody that came in, asked me advice. What's the best way to keep my hand on inside? And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to just tell you. I'm going to tell the whole world what I would say is the best way to think about or something to think about with keeping your hand more to the inside part of the ball. So take this how you want, go practice this. You might be able to go do some drills. Maybe go stand at the, at the foul line, being down just like this in a finishing position, and you can actually just do it from right here. And you just throw it, get it off your hand from there, rotate, do whatever, practice your release, emulate a release, whatever you wanna do. And then eventually you can do one steps where you're gonna swing it, and then you're gonna step and you're gonna do the same thing. So think about these things as you're out practicing the next time. Comment below, let me know what you think of this. Is, do, is this a tough thing for you? Do you have a hard time getting your hand to the inside part of the ball? Do you, oh, are you always to the outside? For those of you that are mostly to the outside, you're probably, you're stuck playing further right most of the time. Your ball goes, you, you feel like you can't move left of 10 or 12. You feel like your ball doesn't hook properly. Your ball is always behind the head pin or the ball is going too far down lane and you're leaving a lot of corner pins. So well, that's usually what happens. Your hand gets to the outside and you get forced to play that, that, that further right zone where you're stuck in the track or just left of the track or whatever it may be. You're closer to the friction. You have a hard time getting your ball to read quicker when you're further left because of your hand being to the outside. You're not creating enough ball roll. You're not getting the ball to see the lane quick enough because of your ball roll. So go take these things. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your uh, opinions are on these things. And let me know what your opinion is on this new fancy dancy cool little thing that <laughs> tries to be tricky. No, it's not a person behind here. It's actually just a camera. It's actually just a, uh, it's the handheld gimbal. It's pretty sweet. Maybe I'll link one in the products. If you're uh, a product person and you want to buy one of these for yourself, I think, I think there's a way I can link one. You can go get one. I'll show you which one I got. I'll link it. 
and you guys can go buy one if you want. If you have the extra money, if you create content, if you like just taking pictures or videos and whatnot, you want to record yourself bowling, these set right up on the table. It's actually pretty sweet. So get you one in the link below. Uh, until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later. Take care.